The rally in global stocks from late March has suppressed the value of the US dollar against a range of currencies. Indeed, the US dollar index, the DXY, has generally been trading inversely to the S&P 500 index from March, meaning as stocks go up, the DXY goes down. Stocks go down, the DXY goes up. But as that stock market rally eventually fades, as we think it will, the US dollar is likely to stage a rebound, particularly against emerging market currencies and commodity currencies, such as the Aussie, the Kiwi, and the Norwegian Krona. Market sentiment aside, the ongoing shutdown of businesses and cash flows will renew demand for dollars. On the demand side, businesses have been hit by a sudden sharp drop in cash flows. So they have found themselves drawing down credit lines or asking their bankers for new loans, much of which in international business requires US dollars. On the supply side, there had been one, a sharp decline in the supply of dollars from banks for currency hedging purposes. Two, there had been drawdowns of bank credit lines by borrowers crowding out other forms of lending by banks. Three, there had been redemption runs on prime money market funds, which then curtailed the supply of dollars from this traditional source. The demand for US dollars is likely to be most intense in emerging markets where a growth slump is starving economies of dollars and where central banks, most central banks, do not enjoy the excess, the dollar swap lines with the Federal Reserve. Note that emerging market foreign exchange reserves have been falling since February. Meanwhile, U.S.-China tensions over COVID-19 are also likely to support the U.S. dollar. The dollar could repeat its rally of 2018. Now, from the time when the U.S. first introduced tariffs on January 22nd, 2018, through to the agreement for a 90-day halt on new tariffs on the 1st of December 2018, DXY rallied almost 10%. The outlook for the US dollar over the coming few weeks will depend to a considerable extent on whether the tentative pullback in global equities continues on renewed concerns about COVID-19 infections, or as we just saw, the market chooses to look past, look beyond the infections and towards hope for a vaccine. We think there is yet more equities downside ahead and hence more dollar strength to come. Apart from a range of emerging market currencies, one developed market currency which could lose in coming weeks to the US dollar is the Aussie, the Australian dollar. The Aussie is sometimes also known as a growth currency a currency that benefits from global economic growth. But the Aussie has been going up against a range of currencies despite the global economy going down. However, very recently, it has been straining to break above the 0 0.6570 resistance zone against the US dollar. And technically, it could potentially develop a bearish double top formation we are selling the Aussie against the US dollar with an expectation of a move to 0 0.6310. So that's it for our focus on currencies in this edition of Global Market Snapshot. And as always, good luck in the markets, stay well.